The S&P and NASDAQ continue their ride higher for the most part this morning. Our next guest, though, does expect the global economy to slow later this year, with risks still skewed to the downside. Joining us this morning, Morgan Stanley Global Chief Economist Seth Carpenter is with us. Seth, it's great to have you. Uh, you guys published a lot over the weekend. <laughs> um, and the headline, uh, in one sense, was that you do see your longstanding baseline of a soft landing intact. At the same time, uh, you are removing some upside on, on earnings. Can you talk about the view right now? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, fundamentally for the U.S., we're in a situation where the Federal Reserve is very much dedicated to getting the economy to slow down enough so that all the inflationary pressures subside over time. Uh, I think last week's non-farm payrolls report was a reminder that maybe there's some two-sided risk still. Um, but, uh, you know, we do think the Fed is going to ultimately succeed, whether last week's data were, were a little bit of a blip or not. We're going to get some slowing in the economy to bring inflation down. And that's important. We don't think it means outright recession. We don't think it means millions in job losses, but we do think it means a substantial amount of slowing. And if that happens, that's just got away on earnings. And so my colleague, uh, Mike Wilson, who's our equity strategist, has been very uh, clear for a long time. He sees a need for there to be a reduction in people's expectations for earnings, and with that, some negative uh, leverage. Right. 185 is, is quite a bit uh, below consensus on, on EPS for the year. Is, is that, do you consider it a dramatic cut? I mean, I think there's uh, lots of things that matter. It's clearly below consensus uh, and by a pretty sizable margin. You know, The Economist to me says, what is going to happen to the economy? We're going to have to see some slowing. We're going to have to see slowing in terms of overall spending. We're going to have to see slowing, uh, eventually more slowing in terms of, of employment. And so that's got to start to weigh on companies. I think the other part for us as well, when I talked to, to, to Mike about that call, is uh, the job market is still tight. Uh, there are still a lot of open positions. If you look at the number of payrolls in the U.S. economy relative to the, to the level of output, we're still shorthanded. And so that means we can get a big slowdown without there needing to be a wave of layoffs. And that sort of lack of sort of cost control is going to have to weigh on firms as well.